you guys welcome back so this is day three of our five-day resistance band training I'm coach Morgan with Fusa Fitness and um, if you've missed day one and two go back on my page and check it out so day one we looked at using our Versa loops for training back and biceps and then yesterday we used our Versa loops and we we learned exercises eight different exercises to train chest and triceps with these amazing little bands so today we're going to continue the upper body focus for this week and wrap it up with shoulder training guys I'm at a new location today I want you to hear about this place this is the Horizons Edge Sports Campus it's amazing if you haven't had a chance to come check it out make sure you make some time to come see it over the weekend or come by during the week they've got indoor rock climbing they have sports fields they have got the outdoor and indoor turf they have basketball courts volleyball and a, and a ton of different events for kids kids camps sports programs and things like that so it's a really cool spot and if you didn't know this is also where I am now leading my fit club workouts my outdoor group workouts and if you would be interested in joining us for an outdoor group workout send me a message I'd love to have you come your first class in Fit Club is always free, so come check us out. All right, without further ado, I've got five exercises for you to work your shoulders with your mini bands. Um, hang with me to the end. I'm gonna give you a workout that you can do putting these exercises together. So our first one is the classic overhead press. What I want you to do is to hold your resistance band at your shoulder or even lower, maybe just underneath the chest. You're gonna place the opposite hand inside the band so that you can press up on it. Elbow can either tuck in or open, and we wanna raise up. So one thing that's gonna happen here as we press is this hand's gonna to have to press down a little bit to keep from raising, and we wanna squeeze it in tight to the body to make sure that we have good alignment and good focus right here on the top of the shoulder. Keep your shoulders pulled down away from your ears. Don't let them ride up. So that's your upright or your overhead press. Next will be our upright row. We're gonna go kneeling for this one, okay? I want you to hook it underneath your knee like we did earlier in the week for our bicep curls. So this time, instead of taking the underhand grip, we've got an overhand grip. Chest is tall. You want your glutes squeezing tight, core tucked in. You're gonna raise the elbow, pulling the weight up, and then release. Elbow wide, away from the body, but you're pulling back. If I were against a wall, the back of my arm would go back and touch the wall, okay? So you wanna keep your hand close to the body as you pull up. You also want your wrist to stay locked in place. You don't want it bending. That's your upright row. You're gonna feel that heavy here in the front. All right, our next two moves, we're gonna get some raises in. We want a lighter resistance band. I'm gonna hold it with one hand down by my hip. Opposite hand will work. So for a front raise, shoulders are down, chest is up. I'm just gonna pull that band out to about shoulder height or just slightly above would be fine. Here, we're looking at that front raise work. Shoulders are down and back, lifting out. Lateral raise, same position, same setup, but this time we're moving to the side. I want a slight bend in the elbow. Good. And we're raising out just out to that shoulder height. Great, guys. Our final move with the band for our shoulder work is called a Y raise. What I want you to do is get both hands in here, band around your wrist. You're gonna start at the hips. What I want you to do is extend the band so that your hands press outside your hips. You're gonna feel a big flex in the shoulder blades. So if you have your shoulders down, shoulder blades are gonna pull and pinch back as you... From here, keep the band width as you raise overhead. Squeeze the shoulder blades down. Bring it back to the start, release. Out, up, down, and in. One thing that we wanna make sure is happening here is that the shoulder blades are pulling down with the pressure. They're staying down as the weight comes up. All right, we don't want this to happen. We wanna pull down and stay wide. That's your Y raise. The last exercise for your shoulder workout today is actually no band, body weight only. We're gonna do an inchworm pike push-up. A little bit of a combo. What I want you to do is bend to your toes. You're gonna to walk out to plank position. Walk back to that pike. Do one push-up and then roll up. Again, you come down to your toes. You walk out to a plank, that's your inchworm. You come back into a pike. That's where your butt is high. Your hands are under your face. Drop, press, then walk the rest of the way back up. It's a killer move. If you need a 
bend your knees a little bit. Go ahead. So that is our shoulder set. So here's what you're gonna do for your workout if you wanna write this down. You're gonna do three sets of 10. You're gonna start with the overhead press, move into your upright row. Make sure you do both sides. Front raise, lateral raise, Y raise, and then finish it up with that plank pike push up. All right guys, three sets of 10. That's your shoulder workout with your mini bands. Guys, if you are digging these workouts, trying out these exercises, or if this is helpful, I need some thumbs up and some feedback. And then tomorrow when we come back, we're gonna get into some lower body strengthening movements with our mini bands. And I'm really excited for that. Take care, commit, don't quit.